I want you to help me prove that the Earth is round. Now, to start off, I should say that I am not going to start debunking Flat Earth videos on this channel. There are already some great YouTubers out there doing that, and frankly, I'm not that interested. That's not why I'm doing this. In fact, the reason I'm doing this didn't start with debunking at all. You see, back in 2019, I was curious if it was possible to see the curvature of the Earth from an airplane if you looked closely. The conventional wisdom said no. The Earth is too big, and airplanes don't go high enough to see it clearly with the naked eye. Well, okay, I thought. But could you photograph the curvature of the Earth from an airplane? That would let you measure the curvature pixel by pixel without having to eyeball it. But there's a problem with this. Flat Earthers always say that you can't trust photos of the horizon from things like high-altitude balloons because they're always shot with a fisheye lens or something like that. Basically, there's lens distortion that can cause a straight horizon to appear curved. And that is true to the extent that lens distortion is a real thing, and for something as slight as the curve of the horizon, it could make a difference. So, I got the idea, what if you held up a ruler to the horizon in the photo? That would give you an absolute standard for what is straight in the picture, no matter how crazy the lens distortion gets. I first proposed this idea on my blog in December of 2019. This, of course, was pretty much the worst possible time for it. I didn't get on a plane again myself until last month, and predictably, I didn't get any takers for other people trying it. Now, keep in mind, there are other ways to prove the Earth is round. You can see it from the ground if you know where to look. Like in this photo of an offshore wind farm. The more distant turbines are clearly farther below the horizon than the closer ones. Or Dan Olson's experiment seeing the curvature of the Earth across a lake. Or the fact that you can't see the North Star from the Southern Hemisphere. Or for most Flat Earth models, the fact that the sun sets, period. But all that evidence, however compelling, isn't quite the same as just being able to see that our planet is, as the Flat Earthers like to say, a spinning ball. So last month, I finally did get on a plane to go to Exoplanets 4, and I tried the experiment for myself. I took some photos of the horizon out the window of the plane while holding up a ruler. This is about the best image I got out of it. And for fellow scientists, I'm sorry I had the ruler upside down. I meant to have centimeters on the top. Oh, and the ruler is out of focus so that the horizon can be in focus, but you can still see the straight edge. Anyway, can we see the curvature of the horizon? Let's enhance the contrast. Compress laterally by a factor of 10. And you can see there is some distortion in the ruler, but it also looks like the horizon is indeed curved. Now, how much curvature is there? Let's zoom in. Enhance the contrast some more. Draw a straight edge along the ruler. Move it up to the horizon. And you can't really tell here, but the height of the horizon above where a straight edge should be is about 14 pixels, plus or minus 1. The original photo was 2,576 pixels wide. For this purpose, I'll define the curvature as the ratio of those two numbers. So we divide 14 by 2,576 to get a curvature of 0.54%, plus or minus 0.04. Now, the next question is, how much curvature should there be? For that, we're going to need some trigonometry. To calculate the expected curvature, we need to know the geometry of the photo and the Earth. I looked up the altitude of my flight and found that it was 37,000 feet, or 11,277 meters. This lets us calculate the distance to the horizon and this similar triangle. Now let's look at the top view of the Earth. I looked up the model of my phone, and I found that the camera's field of view is 54 degrees. Now, we're interested in the straight line between the endpoints of the horizon arc in the photo. With the geometry of that chord, we can find the projection of the previous triangle onto it. 
This lets us construct another similar triangle that includes the height of the horizon arc. If you plug in our numbers, plus Earth's radius of 6,371 kilometers, you get a curvature of 0.715%. Huh, I actually photographed too little curvature. Not zero. It's still a long way from flat. But not as much as I was expecting. Why is that? Well, let's go back to my original photo. I measured what looks like the horizon here, but it's really hard to tell where it is. There's a lot of haze from looking through nearly 400 kilometers of air. That's well over 200 miles. And especially on the right side, I'm not sure if that's the actual horizon or just a cloud bank. If there are clouds on one side of the photo that are above the horizon, they'll make the horizon look flatter than it really is. This isn't a total loss because clouds still follow the curvature of the Earth. But the plane also isn't as high above the clouds. And, of course, it's not as definitive as actually seeing the ground. And that's why I want your help. Plane rides are a roll of the dice. Even if you have a window seat, there's no guarantee that you'll have good visibility all the way to the horizon. In fact, it's probably fairly unlikely. So, if we can get more people taking photos of the horizon, we'll have a better chance of finding some truly clear views, and we should be able to get a better measurement of the curvature of the Earth. I like this idea, because it's a method that doesn't need special equipment, or driving to remote locations, or just taking NASA's word for it that the Earth is round. This is an experiment that you personally can do in your everyday life, at least if you fly. I've put a JavaScript calculator on GitHub to help you with the math. All you need is the altitude of the plane and the field of view of the camera, and it'll do the rest. Just measure how far the horizon is from straight in the photo, and you're good. Link in the description. And I put this video up now especially because coming up on June 12th is the first in-person meeting of the American Astronomical Society since January of 2020. So, fellow astronomers who are flying to Pasadena, or just all the other science enthusiasts out there, the next time you're on a plane, if you get the opportunity, take a photo out the window with a ruler and measure the curvature of the Earth. Send your results to me at scimeetsfiction at gmail.com or on Twitter at scimeetsfiction. Again, links in the description. And if all goes well, we will be able to get an accurate measurement of the curvature of the Earth together.